Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by EdTechNocation. This video is part of my Google Classroom video series in which I show some of the lesser known features of Google Classroom. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate what happens when a teacher creates an assignment and makes a copy of a document for each student. On the left side of the screen is the teacher view and on the right side of the screen is the student view. When a teacher wants to create an assignment, let's say I call this assignment two, all about you. And I have a Google document in my drive that is a template of a worksheet that I want the students to uh, complete and turn back into me. So I'm going to attach that Google Drive drive document And here it is, it's a getting to know you worksheet. And for this assignment, I want to make a copy for each student. So I'm gonna choose that from the dropdown. So in this case, each student in my class will get their own copy of this document with their name attached to the document. So I'm gonna assign it as a teacher. It's gonna take a couple seconds to work its magic. Okay, so the assignment was created. Now on the student side, I'm going to refresh this screen. It's telling me that there's a new item here. If I refresh. And as a student, here I see assignment two all about you. Now the teacher might tell the student at this point, you should have a, uh, a document in your Google Drive that I want you to work on. So what's happening in some cases is the students are completely bypassing the assignment and they're going straight to their drive to access that document that the teacher has created for them. So this student might go to their drive, open the classroom folder, open the practice class for uh, uh, the, the class subfolder, and then they might look for the document in their class folder. Now this is an older document. The newer document should be called getting to know you with the student's name attached to it. Now the student doesn't see it here, so the student wonders where is that document that the teacher told me I should have? And the teacher is going to wonder where is that document that I gave to that student? Well, Classroom works a little differently. Before the student can access the document in their drive, they have to interact with the assignment in Classroom first. So here in this on this screen, the student is looking at the stream and they see the new assignment. In order for the student to have access to that document in their drive, they have to open the assignment first. When they open the assignment, it's going to process. And what I think it's doing here is it's, it's, is it's activating that document that the teacher created for the student. So once it's done, it'll be shown here in the list. Now, if the student were to go back to drive, they'll see that new document show up in their drive. Then they'll be able to complete the assignment as the teacher instructed. Okay, so once again, once a teacher creates an assignment and creates the document for the students, the student must open the assignment first in order for their document to become visible in their drive. If they don't do that, then they're not going to have access to that document yet. So they have to go into the assignment in order to um, have access to that document. Then they can access it here, or they can go straight to their drive and access it there via their class subfolder. Thanks again for watching this video tutorial. Please check out my other videos in the Google Classroom video series.